Hi, everybody. I'm Mary Burley, Chief Educator at the Norman Rockwell Museum. And I'm here with my friend Stephanie Plunkett, who is the Deputy Director and Chief Curator. And we are both here with our friend Florence, who is this chick. Hi, Florence. Um, today we're talking about the image, Aunt Ella Takes a Trip, from 1942. And we chose this image because Aunt Ella has a most wonderful horse, who is her partner in uh, Aunt Ella traveling to town with her niece, declaring her independence to do a project that she wanted to do and nobody was going to stop her. So we're really interested in noticing details which show that Aunt Ella and her horse are this great team that they have Aunt Ella's niece along for the ride and, and they're going to have a great day. So Stephanie, do you want to show us some details and talk about some details in this image? Absolutely. Thank you, Mary. Let's take a little time to notice the many details in this picture. Um, what do you see? What pops out at you at first? Does the painting depict a scene from today or is it from the past? And I wonder if you can tell me what in the picture might tell you that it is a painting from the past. Is the scene a city or a country scene? And what has Norman Rockwell put in the painting that kind of lets you know that? Here, sunlight washes over Aunt Ella, her niece, and that majestic white horse as they make their way to town to buy fabric for a special dress. Notice the ears and tail on Nell and what position they are in. What do they tell you, perhaps, about the story behind this image? Now look at Aunt Ella's person and her expression. So here is a quote from the story that Norman Rockwell had to read and illustrate to get a picture of what Aunt Ella might look like. The story said, Aunt Ella was beautiful in my eyes. You know, somehow that she had grown up on sunshine and good times. She had just the right amount of plumpness with dimples in her elbows and cheeks, a clear pink complexion and auburn hair. So from this description, Norman Rockwell used his imagination to create Aunt Ella for a 1942 story by an author named Marceline Cox. She does not have children herself in the story, but is determined to see that her niece Mary gets a beautiful dress that her parents cannot afford for her graduation. In this picture, we see Aunt Ella and Mary's sister Lizbeth in a horse and buggy going to town to sell some grain to buy fabric for the new dress. Rockwell illustrates their return home, after which they will wipe down Nell to cool her off and begin work on the dress. Can you find the package that might hold the fabric for Mary's dress? Rockwell also illustrates the complex emotions Aunt Ella and Lisbeth might be feeling. This is what he does best as an artist. He captures emotions and even thoughts through the subtleties of facial expression and body language. And when you look around, what does body language tell you about what people are feeling? Aunt Ella's face and posture are strong and resolute, reflecting her determination to begin work on Mary's new dress. Lisbeth's demeanor expresses happiness at their accomplishment and perhaps thoughts of how excited her sister will be to have a new dress. Now the horse, as Mary said, is an important part of the story for she ensures that Aunt Ella can get to town and back in good time. Mary, there's a fun fact about this picture and I wonder if you'd like to talk about what that is. Hi, Stephanie. Yeah, I'd love to talk about the fun facts regarding this picture. Um, a fact that's really interesting is that Rockwell usually painted uh, images that he, where he was making up the story and uh, creating the image on his own. 
In this case, he was actually illustrating a story uh, that people, readers had really enjoyed in the Ladies Home Journal more than 80 years ago. Another fun fact is that usually Rockwell used models who were neighbors or friends from the town where he lived. Uh, however, in this case, he actually used a, a, a real model, a movie star named Joan Carroll. We want you to think as an action regarding Aunt Ella. Uh, we invite you to think about Aunt Ella and her horse, Nell, and the determination that they mustered together to do something to help someone else. Um, they did something really special for Aunt Ella's niece, Mary. Um, while you're thinking about it, who could you, who in your life might you like to do something for? And how will you find a team, whether it's a pet or a friend, and bring the determination together to, uh, to do that hard thing? Mostly, we invite you to be like Aunt Ella. And we hope you have a great day.